What's up, everybody? It's your favorite optical illusions, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Transform Element Speed Star, which is their take on Mirage. And I'll tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. I'm going to tell you why. Doesn't mean that I'm in love with every aspect of this figure because I'm not, and I'll explain that as well. Now, look, there's some controversy regarding this thing because the hips came in upside down. The ring that houses the hips that acts as a universal, the blue piece, as it were, comes installed upside down. And as a result, it doesn't transform properly and supposedly can even break during the process. Now that throws a shroud of shade over this thing that we just can't ignore. However, isn't of great use to beat the dead horse. So we're going to reserve kind of talking about it until the end. Like I said, this is unknown to me from Joe S and he's already done it. So we're going to continue on and not harp on it, but it's something that can't be overlooked in regard to the overall recommendation of this thing. But more on that later. I'll compare it briefly with the MMC. We're definitely going to do a versus of these too. I'll show it with some other figures. We'll do the transformations, you know, it's the typical stuff, but first we're gonna start with accessories. So he comes with his gun, and it is painted silver. And it is sculpted quite nicely, I might add, as well. And he'll hold it just fine with a typical tab into the palm masterpiece style. You can also have it sitting in between the engine block here. It's facing backward, uh, but you can have it. And as you can see, like, it holds, like, it's not resting on anything. Um, but it's facing backwards, or is it? Is it facing forward now if you use your imagination? He comes with the missile. It is, so to speak, it is painted silver and it's sculpted nicely. And this inserts onto his shoulder mounted section here. It's, um, it's a notched circle, so it goes in a specific way. And I'll be honest with you, because it pushes that piece out, I initially thought it was going to be a firing but I can't figure out a way, it just sort of lets loose or I can't find a button that launches it. So um, I'm guessing that it does not or that this one has not is not working properly, one or the other. You get a extra head, which has bigger eyes. I think everything else is the same, but it has the bigger eyes, which is important to some people. And there it is. And you have a happy mirage face. If you want a happy mirage face, you got one. All right, let's talk about them. So the head is done very well, so to speak. Sculpted fair, but not hateful. And then we have the nice red paint on the plastic there. So you have a hinge connected to a ball peg, which I'm not sure we've seen in Masterpiece stuff, or at least not very often anyway, but as a result, it works pretty well. And I'm, it might be my new preference as long as the neck is proportioned. Do you know what I mean? Like, cause sometimes like they, they end up looking like, you know, like they got a little string neck. I hate when that happens. So as a result, you can get the head 100% up, you know, for a picture or whatever. You can also maneuver the hinge up and then get the head down so that he can kind of look more intimidating, which he needs to be honest. And that's, um, that's cool. I dig it. Plus you get the swivel. No real, uh, maybe a little confused dog look. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For the missile launcher, you have a swivel at the base of the shoulder and then a hinge and then an additional hinge. So tons of stuff you can do there. For the arms, we have a universal joint. Well, actually, to be fair, there's a hinge inside so you can drop the arm down. I'm not sure why you would need to, but you can. You have the universal proper, which gets you out to 90 degrees and gives you the swivel all the way around. You also have your arm flap here, which is on a hinge and a swivel. So you should be able to manipulate it any way you need in order to get the articulation you need. So all that is cool, well done. We have a bicep swivel. We have a double hinged elbow. We have a wrist swivel. We have fingers on a base pin knuckle and the uh, index finger is individually articulated from the rest, but they have tight rider fingers, so what's the point? All right, moving on. We have some silver paint here. I think most of this is just a glossy plastic uh, for the most part and not paint. It looks very Takara-esque as a result, uh, which is good for some and not so good for others, <laughs> depending on your preferences, <laughs> and that's up to you. Anyway, there is silver paint here on the abdomen. There is an extremely limited waist swivel. In fact, I'm not even going to give him credit for one. <clears throat> you know, speaking loosely, it's just, it's not really worth mentioning. There is an ab crunch. Um, that's not the best either. 
but it is there and then that will give you more of a uh, waist swivel however you can't get the waist flat again so i guess it's there but it's it's not look let's just agree it could have been done better not hateful but could have been done better all right we'll close them back up i also wish that didn't latch the way it does now there's a whole section of this that can flip up but i i think that that is the intended uh ab crunch what do you know all right so we have these bits here they'll swing out and then this piece will swing up as a result you can get these back hinges up a bit as well you have universals for hips it's really a disc hinge but it works like a universal and it gets you more than you would ever want front and back not the full monty but more than you would want and the full van dam uh, this could be this could have been done better also just the design here you have a thigh swivel you have a double jointed knee that gets you the full run so love to see it you have an ankle tilt it all really operates on a toe it's kind of a cheat but it works toe tilt down toe tilt up and a rocker now and like I said, this blue, it might be paint. It might be. But I can't tell if it's paint or glossy plastic, uh, to be honest. And sometimes that glossy plastic is like glossy on one side and flat on the other. Because I've was i been looking at the inside of it to try to see if it'll give me some sort of clue. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, it looks fine. And the white work, like in the black line work there, all that stuff looks brilliant. So what is clearly painted is at least painted well with one exception uh, individual results will vary but on the feet here you have these like um bits here where either the paint didn't adhere properly or there was some dust and stuff that got underneath the paint and then that's what you're stuck with and then you have your heel spur here that you can articulate and then there this fella is from the back so you know like it's a pretty straightforward figure nothing really amazing about it but nothing really terrible about it either to be fair size comparison wise there he is with the mmc offering and i don't want to talk too much about how i feel about this because i really want to get into the verses regarding these two but this does describe something that i've been talking about for some time and i'm anxious to talk about it i will say this more your cartoon accurate I prefer this look just to give you an idea that's a matter of preference that's a matter of subjectivity that's a matter of discussion that we're going to get into at another time let's take a look at a few more comparisons scale wise there he is with a few other offerings a car a mini bot and a larger one so hopefully that gives you some idea of where this fellow's going to fit in let's get him transformed so take the head up spin it around push it back down and just get this flap here accounted for we're going to need to start moving this stuff up and the tires you can kind of leave be we're going to flip this section up oh see that's the other ab crunch that i was talking about before where the whole hip skirt comes up um i don't know if that's the one that's intended or not it doesn't seem like it should be because then you still get the limited uh, waist swivel, I think. I don't know. There, that's the one you want. We got to take this engine block stuff out. So, let's see, open this up here. Bring this down. Open up these side elements, transform elements flip out these pieces all the way they're like uh these little white flaps here bring the engine block down let's see there we go and then you can collapse those together and then these pieces swing out to the sides. And if you see where that screw is, the head is on a slider. So if you can get that down, we'll move these tires out of the way. That will allow you to flip out completely the... Uh, 
the, the uh, hood here. Easy for me to say. There. Next, we'll get the arm sorted. Fold the thumb in, and I guess that's another piece of articulation, to be fair, that the thumb is on a hinge that I didn't mention. And fold the fingers in. Open up this flap, you know, tuck the hand in, flap in. And we're gonna do the same for this side. Thumb in, fingers in, flap out, hand in. Okay, to get the arms in, fold these blue pieces around to the back. Take your shoulder and bend it down and bend the arm up and you just gotta finagle it up in there. You have a tab here that's gonna go to a corresponding slot on the opposite uh, forearm. So just do what you gotta do to squeeze her in and then just make sure they're secured. Now, the last thing that you have to do, you can fix this wheel if you'd like, is make sure that you have this clearance here. We're going to bring the rocket launcher down and around, bring the wheel out, and then bring the rocket launcher up and in so that it sits underneath there, which is pretty cool. We can fold out these pieces while we're here. Then you can sort this, and then you can also flip this out and this out, and flip the blue piece down to kind of fill in that space. We're gonna do that here too. Swivel the waist by using the ab crunch 180 so that the feet are facing the uh, top of the vehicle. All right, so we got a ton of flaps. So we're gonna pull out these side flaps on the hip skirts. We're going to pull out these knee flaps, this flap. We're gonna bring out this flap. We're going to maneuver this flap and we're gonna bring out the wheel on that flap. That's where we're gonna start. On the underside, we're gonna rotate the thigh 90 degrees, and then we're going to also rotate the knee flap so that this whole thing is completely opened up. Then we're going to combine our wars the leg down. and begin to start to close things up. Now, on this side, we're gonna bring up the fin. It's on a slider here. We're gonna slide that across, rotate the foot down to form the back of the vehicle. Then you have this last panel here. There's a slider here, you wanna slide that down. There's a slider here, you wanna slide that up. Then fold in your silver piece, and then this piece will come in and sit up next to there. And this piece will capture it. Uh, just make sure that you kinda, of, because the teeth there have to interlock. So just make sure that they do so cleanly. For this leg, we're just gonna treat it like Christmas morning. We're just gonna open up all of these flaps here, spin this piece out. It'll actually open up again, open up your ankle rocker, move your spoiler out of the way, move your tire out of the way. This piece keeps falling off. Uh, on his copy, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll try to put it back on when I got a better view of it. All right, and then now you wanna make sure that you're flipped the right way, and we want to collapse this, and we're not flipped the right way. So, make sure you are flipped the right way. Listen, do as I say, not as I do. 
bring this down, and then you'll see that you have this lined up. Those two pieces will actually tab together. This piece will wrap around and start to come down. As you maneuver to this side, flip out, or not flip out rather, but slide on this bar your spoiler. And let's see. I can fix this part while I'm here. All right. And we're going to flip that down. Flip this over. You got your foot flipped in. And then on this side, we're going to start to push this together. We're going to slide down on that sliding bar there. And we're going to fold that piece down. And we're also going to slide up on this sliding bar here. And then we just have to kind of sort this, which is also not quite the best. But uh, we're going to make it work. So just interlock these teeth the best you can. And then kind of start squeezing. It'll eventually kind of fall into place. There is a tab here that lines up like, uh, let's see if I can't show you. It's right in there and the rest of it kind of just falls in place. Make sure this is in, lock this, and then you also want to make sure that this piece here interlocks with those two pieces. So I will do all of that. I will clean it up and we will take a look at it. So there it is, and it rolls like a champ. We have, I think they're rubber tires. I believe so. And we have the uh, Ford paint there on the engine block, which is interesting. Nice silver paint there. I got some paint chipping there. Silver paint shows through here. Um, that looks sharp and beautiful. Uh, let's see. We have the steering wheel. Does that turn? No. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of fine. There's, it's, it's not tight. Like this side, I feel like is tighter on mine than this side. That's probably operator error. I'm guessing that you could get it however it is here over there. But it's a pretty solid little car, I think. Um, no real complaints with it in vehicle mode. I think it does what it's supposed to do and I think it does it fairly well. And then there's some blue paint here on the sides. The house has some chipping. I don't think they have the paint quite down pat yet. Um, they put the blue paint on the white here, which is probably the right move. But uh, it's chipping, which is what makes me think the other stuff is more of a glossy plastic because that stuff is not chipping at all. But where it's like obviously paint, we're having paint issues. So just something to think about. But yeah, pretty decent little car. Tiger Tracks. Final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives. Transformation isn't the most intuitive. There's some impressive stuff like what they did with the shoulder rocket. However, I'd have been fine if they just made it unpeg. You know what I mean? So it's a little weird for the part that's kind of the most impressive to be something that's not really needed at the same time. It's a bit fiddly in that regard. It's not necessarily a fun transformation. Admittedly, it's a lot easier and more fun to go from car to robot. I don't like the typewriter fingers. I am tired of them. There's no sense in making the hand articulate in, at all, really, if you can't make the fingers at least Point. And what I mean by hand is fingers, knees and toes. What? Don't worry about it. I got some paint chipping on mine. Every time I mention stuff like that, someone undoubtedly says in the comments, when you have paint, it's going to chip. That's not true. There's plenty of companies that know how to paint their figures properly. Sick burn, bro. This figure could also really benefit from some hardware. Some ratchets would make this figure feel, I think, a bit more impressive than what it is. And it doesn't come with any instructions that I could find anyway. That doesn't mean that there's not some in there, but I couldn't, I didn't see any in the box. There's also this bit about the hips. Oh, he's already done the mod. But if that's the case, if you can't get through the transformation of this thing without breaking it, without modding it, honestly, there's no way I can recommend it. Now, the rumor is, is that the, the second version of this is going to fix that problem. And that's good to hear. At that point, I'll recommend it. 
There's a lot of positives though. The figure's well built. It's well put together. It's well made, with the exception of that hip issue regarding the engineering. It's sculpted well. The tampo paint for like the 26 on the side and that is clean, sharp, and shows no sign of chipping. The articulation is pretty much there with the exception of the waist swivel, but there is some workarounds for it. Kind of depends on what you need a waist swivel to do and how you need it to work for you. It definitely nails the likeness. And while I'm not crazy about the engineering regarding the transformation, at the same time, I have to admit that it's pretty ambitious and that so is their Optimus Prime. So it definitely shows that they're comfortable kind of pushing engineering to its limits, which I have to respect even if I'm not crazy about in regard to what they actually did. So the hip issue aside, I can recommend it, but for the hip issue, it's hard to. But what saves this at the end of the day really is the materials. It feels kind of like a Takara product. Now people feel the way they feel about Takara products, myself included, but at least it feels legit. There's something to be said for that. It's a decent enough little figure and breakage issues aside, I can recommend it. I hope that helps. Definitely be on the lookout for the verses. That's definitely going to be coming at some point soon. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Take care.